to adjust the cot from the stretcher position to the chair position, the operator on the load end of the cot needs to push down ever so slightly on the cot. It releases the pressure on the pin. They pull the handle and they can adjust it into the chair position. To put it back into the stretcher position, it's just the opposite. Push forward slightly towards the patient, pull the handle, and bring it back. Release the handle, it stays in the stretcher position. There's an intermediate position between the two. If you need to get to a tight area, you don't need to go all the way into the chair position that you can put the cot into. So, so you push down the cot a little bit to assume the weight, pull the handle, adjust into position. Assume some of the weight, pull the handle. The 28Z has three different sets of restraints. On the shoulder area, you have the model 417-1 shoulder restraint. On the top of the shoulder restraint, you have the figure eight restraint, which allows the shoulder restraints to stay together and not come apart around the patient. The chest restraint goes through the slot in the backrest. The waist restraint goes through the slot in the seat panel. And it's important to keep this restraint attached at all times, even when a patient's not on the cot. As when you change the chair position, you want to make sure the buckle stays in the seat area. The last restraint is the leg restraint. It has a bracket attached to the leg frame. And the waist and the leg restraints are designed that when the cot is transferred into a chair position or back to a stretcher position, it moves with that section so that it doesn't tighten or loosen as the chair is being, as the cot is being repositioned. Top right of the backrest is a red release handle. Push the red release handle towards the patient to raise it up, to lower it down. Again, push the red release handle towards the patient. Pull it down. When adjusting the backrest, again you push the handle, red release handle towards the patient. But you want to always make sure that the backrest is in the down position when changing the cot into the chair position. To load the cot, there's a red release handle on the operator's side. Bring the cot to the back of the vehicle. Pull the red release handle which releases the front legs, and load the cot. To unload the cot, I'm going to go ahead and use the flip-out handles. No handle needs to be pulled. I'll pull the cot out of the back of the vehicle, legs come down automatically, lock into place. To engage the wheel locks, press down the lock. That locks the rotation of the wheel, as well as the swivel of the wheel. To disengage the lock, press the top of it, to unlock it. The mattress can be removed by pushing these clips through the holes for cleaning purposes. To reattach it, put the clips back through the holes and lock them into place. The location of the clips are two clips in the backrest section, two clips in the seat section, two clips in the thigh section, and then one clip each for the mattress down here. There are two separate mattresses for the 28Z, the backrest and thigh seat, and then there's the legs. There are two optional flip-out handles for the model 28Z. There's the long side extension handle, which flips out. That allows an extra operator to help assist the cot when loading and unloading, or carrying over a rough terrain. To use the handle, pull out, and release and locks into place. To use the shorter handles, the same action. Pull out, release, locks in place. This allows the operator again to have a better ergonomic position to carry the cot if they want to, or to help in loading the cot. On the side flip out handles, they're designed to be carried this way and not designed to be forced head or foot of the cot. Be sure to pull the handle out to unlock it. The legs snap back into place. 
One of the features of the 20Z is the pull-out telescoping handle. There's one on each side of the cot. This is good to help assist the cot get into higher load height vehicles. You can have one operator on each side of the cot, grab the cot, and help get it up to a higher load height. To use the telescoping handle since it's loaded to a higher load height, pull out the telescoping handle, lift up the cot, and load it back in the back of the vehicle. 